Hello. Hello, Mr. Romero. Good evening. Hello, teacher. How are you? Uh, I am fine. And you? I'm fine too. Thank you for asking. How was your day? Uh, so, uh, so very tired. So very tired. Oh, yes. Sorry to hear that. Yes, I know. Yes. Uh, <laughs> And it's stressful too. Yeah. yeah. Those are the days of adult people. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's true. Well, I thought nobody was going to connect. I was afraid. I was checking and I said, oh my God, what happened? <laughs> sí. Eso está viendo. Yes, and, and they send message on the WhatsApp group that they have problems with the internet. Yeah. Sí, a saber, Janet a saber qué problemas. and Aldair say they have problems. That's difficult for them to connect. Okay. Well, anyway, we are here. We're going to take advantage of the time. Okay. Miss Karen Portillo, welcome. Hello, good evening. How are you? A little tired. A little tired. What did you do today? Um, check a lot of reports. <laughs> check a lot of reports. <laughs> okay. It was a busy day too. Yeah. Okay. Well, welcome. Did you finish the platform? Did you work on the platform? Or not yet? My case, not yet. Not yet. Well, yes, you have to work. Tomorrow they say they're gonna check, right? All right. Mr. Rodas, good evening. Good evening. How are you? Um, so, so I, I was to, I was in the office today and back late to, to my house. You came back late at home. Oh. But your job is not far from your house. It's far, far. Far, far from home. How yes. far? One hour, two hours? Uh, one hour. One hour. Yes, yeah. It's tiring. You feel tired to travel one hour. I when understand. The traffic, when the traffic is hard, uh, it's two hours. Two for, hours. Two hours for a tour oh to my, my house. Oh my God. In two hours, you can do a lot of things. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. 
Do you drive? Yes. Uh, yeah, when you're driving, you cannot do a lot of things. <laughs> 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 yes, I remember when I traveled by bus, I used to do a lot of things, but then when I drive, I cannot do anything because I am driving. <laughs> so it's difficult. Yeah. Yeah, but it's definitely more comfortable when you drive. Yeah. Okay, awesome. Well, who hasn't said, oh, Mr. Henry Lopez. <clears throat> Good evening. Are you okay? Okay. Okay, fine. You finish work. Oh, cansado. Tired. <laughs> Prendido. I'm tired. I'm exhausted. I'm, I'm, I'm sleepy. <laughs> no energy. Yes. All right. Yes, uh, it's almost time to go to bed. Just one hour. An hour goes pretty fast. Goes very fast. That's right. Okay, Miss Carla, how do you feel today? Very well. Oh, much better. You sound better. Yes. Thank God. Thank God. Yes. And we had somewhere Mr. Aguirre. What? He's connecting from the cell phone today, I think. No, 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 teacher. What happened? Oh, pretty good. Basically, today I didn't go anywhere, but oh my God. Yeah. You stay home. Yeah, because because yesterday I returned too late. Too For late. the reason, if you remember, I connect too late. That's true. But I think it was because you were watching the game. <laughs> no, 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 no. I, in some time, I, I watch. Not yesterday. No, I don't like yesterday it. Yesterday was a disaster. Yeah. <laughs> Basically, yesterday I drove. I drove to La Union. My goodness. Yeah. After that, I drove to Metapan. All El Salvador. Yeah, all El Salvador. For that reason, I feel I felt so tired. 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 Mm. Tired. Wow, you can do that in one day. Yeah. From border to border. Yeah. On the other hand, today I taking a nap all day. Ah, you rested. Mm, yeah. You charge the batteries. <laughs> yeah. I I told I told to my boss. Hey boss, today I deserve. <laughs> yeah, my day off. I deserve my day off, if, definitely. If, if you remember my boss and my dad. No? I know, I know. That's great. Oh, now we we meet Carla on the photo. <laughs> oh no, Karen. I'm sorry, Carlita already had a photo, and Mr. Rodas in person, of course. <laughs> Okay, well, let's start. I am going to share the screen. Let me see. Yes, definitely. I have it right here. And let me move my tools up here so that I can move this thing. Oh, this is the third week. The third week, and this is our class number 12. So we only miss one week more and we're done. Yeah, <laughs> beginners do is over. <laughs> okay, well, today we have an interesting objective. Well, an interesting class and some interesting objectives. Review the adverse of frequency by asking and answering questions and describe what people eat for good luck on special occasions. You remember that they say, you have to eat 12 grapes at midnight on December 31st for good luck next year. So this is the type of description we're going to have. Okay, but before that, I remember I told you we were going to practice these conversations yesterday and we didn't have much time to do it, so we're going to do it right now. Give me one second, I feel like sneezing.
sorry, it's okay. All right. So, in third person, cuando hablamos de he, she, it, el verbo se le pone S, ¿verdad? Entonces, it, it's. Write, writes. Bar, barks. Speak, speaks. Read, reads. Jog, jogs. Call, calls. Clean, cleans. Wash, washes. Watch, watches. Dance, dances. Fix, fixes. Esa S que se le agrega al verbo no siempre se va a pronunciar como S. En muchos de los casos sí. Pero en some cases, it's going to sound like a, z, z, like a B sound. And the other case is going to sound is. So, it eats. Right, right. Bark, bark. Speaks, speaks. No problem. Here, we make a little change in the sound. We say read, read. Jog, jogs. Cold, cold. Clean, cleans. And here is. So, wash, watches. Watch, watches, dance, dances, fix, fixes. And these are the adverbs of frequency. Always, usually, sometimes, rarely. Yesterday, what did we study instead of rarely? Uh, we say usually, often, sometimes, hardly ever, and never, right? Hardly ever is similar to rarely, yes? And then we have a, an example conversation, right? Does Carmen usually study in her room? And we say, no, she rarely studies in her room. She usually studies in the library. So we're gonna use rarely, and then we're gonna say, the place right so this is carmen she rarely studies in her room she usually studies in the library so let's continue following the example does linda usually eat lunch in her office no aquí la vemos en la cafeteria verdad entonces decimos no she rarely eats lunch in her office she usually mm -hmm, eats in the cafeteria in the cafeteria right okay does alan always watch the news after dinner no he He never watch. He never watches the news after news dinner. Off. He always watches game shows, right? So we follow this example to complete the answers, the I mean the other conversations, right? So, vamos a usar el que ya nos dan, el adverb of frequency y la respuesta de lo que realmente hace, ¿ok? So, let's see the next example. Here we have, voy a poner mejor acá. Y decimos, does Diane sometimes read the National Star? No, she never. Read. She never reads the National Star. She usually reads Time Magazine, right? So this is the, the magazine that she reads. All right. Does Henry usually wash his car on Sunday? Mm. No. No. Mm. He rarely, he rarely washes his car Why? on Sunday. He usually, or he always washes his car on? Saturday. On Saturday, that's right. Does your girlfriend usually jog in the evening? No? Mm. 
She sometimes jogs in the afternoon, right? Mm -hmm. Does your neighbor's dog always bark during the day? No, he never barks during the day. He always barks at, at night. Okay, good. Let's see. For more practice, I know it's it's that you have to play with the words. Okay, no, there's not a specific correct um, form or way to do the, the short conversations, but it they have to make sense. Siempre cuando tenga sentido lo que dicen, it, it's okay, right? So I'm going to make you practice in two groups. I'm going to share the screenshots for you to practice. Tienen que seguir el modelo, el ejemplo. Y eso es, es lo que les va a ayudar a crear las otras conversations. No tienen que escribirlo. Just practice, ¿ok? Is that correct? Yes. Ok. Here we go. Stop, come stop. All right. Buenas noches. Hola, Hola. Carla. Buenas noches. Hola, ¿qué tal? Hola. Les voy a compartir la imagen que, que acaban de mandar para que la veamos juntos. Todavía no se ve. No se ve que la estoy compartiendo. Sí, sí, ya está. Sí, sí. Ah, tú la estás compartiendo. Sí. Yo pensé que yo la estaba compartiendo. Ah. <risa> no, no, no. Ok. Sí, ya la vemos. Gracias, Carla. Ok, ok. Then... Ok, empezamos. Comencemos okay. leyéndolo y haciendo el mismo ejercicio. Ok. Permítame, hay que publicar la, la, la foto. <risa> Usted me preguntó, Dois, Dois. Eh. Does Linda usually eat lunch in her office? Eh, rarely, eh, no sé cómo se dice, rarely en the cafetería. Es, es, es la primera, ¿verdad? La prim primera. Sí. She rarely, she rarely, she rarely in the cafe, cafeteria. Okay, y luego? She, luego, eh, she usually, she, she usually, usually, eh, uy, aquí me, aquí me he trabado, perdón, disculpe. No, es la, ajá, sí, lo que pasa es que se, Henry, sí. Henry, lo que tienes que tener algo bien claro es que no es adivinanza. Si no entendés el contexto de la oración, ahí está la teacher para que le preguntes, porque de nada te sirve que estés practicando algo que no sabes que vas a responder. Mi sugerencia, ¿verdad? Te la digo de la mejor manera, no me vas a tomar a mal. Ok. Sí, como ahorita estoy aprendiendo. No, por eso no mismo, puedo, pero, pero ya, nos, ya, ya nos explicó 
este, con ejemplos, si te fijas arriba, este es el ejemplo de Does Carmen usually study in her room? No, she rarely studied in her room. She usually started in the library. Ahí agarré el contexto de ese ejemplo y pasarlo con lo que Karen te preguntó. Does Linda usually eat lunch in her office? Ahí tienes que decirle no, etcétera, etcétera, etcétera. Tenés el ejemplo de arriba, si no lo entendés, okay, para okay. practicar. Thank okay, you, mister. Yeah, yeah. Yes, you have to follow. Tiene que seguir el ejemplo. O sea, ¿cuál es lo opuesto de rarely? Usually, ¿verdad? Aquí arriba también tienen los adversos frequency. Entonces se dice, does Linda usually eat lunch in her office? No, usted ve el dibujito y dice, no, no está en la oficina. Entonces le contesta, no, she rarely eats lunch in her office. She usually eats lunch in the cafeteria. ¿Ya? Yeah? Okay. Es yes. como nada más ir sustituyendo por lo del ejemplo. Correcto. Eh, uh -huh. No había visto eso. Es, don't es worry, ejemplo. don't worry. Tiene que estar como más enfocado en, en las imágenes y en los ejemplos. Yes. Okay. Uh -huh. yes. Vaya, eh, vaya, eh, dígame. Does Linda llama? usually eat lunch Does in her Linda, office? Does Linda Okay. Esa es la pregunta. Eso, eh, es ahorita. La pregunta. Ajá, usted tiene que tratar de formular la respuesta. No, y sigue she, el ejemplo. Ajá, no, she. No, she really. Rarely. Studies. Eats. In, tiene que eat, sustituir la, la acción que está en la, en la siguiente imagen. Eats. Eats. Lunch. Eats lunch. Her room. In her office. Ah, sí, sí, perdón. Ajá, in her yeah. office. Oh, ok, perdón, sí. Uh -huh. it, she, it, usually, okay. she usually. She usually. It's, it's lunch. It's lunch in, in the cafeteria. Exactly, in the cafeteria. Cafeteria, ok. Ok. Yes, sí, yes, yeah. ok. Boy, does Diana sometimes read the National Star? No, sería ahí, verdad? No, never. No, di Diana. No, Diana never. Never read. Uh, uh -huh. Read the National Star. She usually read the Time Magazine. Okay. Yeah, reads. <laughs> Sí, correcto. Se me escapó. Mm -hmm. Entonces voy. Does Diana something read the National Star? No, she never uh, reads the National Star. She usually reads Read? the, the Time, Time Magazine. Magazine. Ok, gracias por la corrección. Ok, gracias. Okay, el cuatro. Does okay. Henry usually wash his car on Sunday? Mm, sería no, no. no he he rarely uh, wash his car his car on Sunday. Uh, he he usually wash his wash car his... on sal, Saturday. <laughs> <clears throat> okay. Does your girlfriend usually jog in the evening? Sometimes. No, she sometimes jog in the evening. No, sería sometimes jog in the afternoon. Y sería jogs. Jogs. Yes, yes. Toda la S. Sí, sí. Okay. Hay que colocarle. El... Sí, a mí también se me olvida. Jogs. Reads. Washes. Ok, la seis. Does your neighbor's dogs always park during the day? La respuesta sería no. It. Porque no. es animal. Uh -huh. eh, no, it 
Never. never park during today. It uh, it always park at night. Always barks at night. Barks. Yeah. Okay, adelante. Ustedes. Dao uh, is. I tell you, I tell you, I respond. No, she, 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 in the cafeteria, in the, no, she, in the afternoon. No, ahí te pasaste a la otra. Te responde la primera que sí. Y después ella usualmente corre en la tarde. Tenés que dar dos respuestas. Okay. Dijiste no. She sometimes. She sometimes. She sometimes. She sometimes usually yo en Ebony. Okay, uh, sure. Ladra, uh -huh. Durante el día. <laughs> eh, it it eh, always bark barks during at, at night. night. At night. Las cinco. That your girlfriend usually jump in the evening? No. She usually she sometimes, sometimes. jogs in the evening. Uh, she sometimes no she she usually uh, jogs in the afternoon. Solo es de cambiar la... I'm back. Sorry, teacher. It's all right. Everybody's back? No, they are still practicing the other group, I think. Let's wait. Let's wait for them to come back. So how did it go? How I was care. the exercise? Yes. I guess that you like to wear the different earrings every single day, right? <laughs> I have a collection. <laughs> That's what my my nephew says. <laughs> I knew it. I love it. <laughs> I feel like I belong mm. from the Arabs. <laughs> really? It's wow. a joke. <laughs> it's a joke. My friends used to call me Turca when I was little. <laughs> But it's a joke. Ah, yes, I wish. <laughs> I wish. I wish I was. I wish I were from. Where is the place that they are gonna play the world the World Cup this year? Qatar. Oh yeah. <laughs> Qatar. <laughs> right, Qatari. Yeah, they say they have a lot of money. They do have a lot of money. I don't. I just have a dog. <laughs> that's <laughs> that's my fortune. <laughs> <laughs> no. In my testament, when I die, I leave my dog. Okay. <laughs> no. So don't say that this in Spanish. 
I know. <laughs> no, yeah, and it's a it's a it's a baby girl, so <laughs> that's even worse. Okay, let's go back to the exercise. Un, un poquito de reto, verdad? It's a it's a little bit challenging. I understand, but nothing that you cannot do. It's okay. So <clears throat> let's go back because of the previous slides where you have the example and then it's easier when you see the example. Does Carmen usually study in her room? No, this is not her room, right? So we say no, she rarely studies in her room. So maybe she does, but rarely. So she rarely studies in her room. She usually studies in the library. And if you say rarely, the opposite is usually. If you have never, then the opposite is always. Sometimes doesn't have an opposite, right? Sometimes it's in the middle. Sometimes she studies in her room, sometimes she studies in the library. So it's like 50 and 50, okay? <laughs> but that's not the case in this example, right? But we do have a case with that one. So does Linda usually eat lunch in her office? This is the same example because you see, usually, usually, rarely, rarely. So does Linda usually eat lunch in her office? No, she rarely eats lunch in her office, right? She usually eats lunch in the cafeteria. So does Alan always watch the news after dinner? No, he never watches the news after dinner. He always watches game shows, right? Game shows like, I guess there is a, a game show now in, in the national TV, the national television, that is a llévatelo. So when they give prize for a game, right? But the contestants cannot go to play now in the in the channel because of the pandemic. It's been about two years that only the, the host, the TV host, play the games and they supposedly give the prizes, yes, to the contestant. I don't really know if it is true or not. All right. Does Diane sometimes read the National Star? No, she never reads the National Star. Yes? She always reads Time Magazine. Does Henry usually wash his car on Sunday? No, he rarely washes his car on Sunday. He usually washes his car on Saturday, right? Does your girlfriend usually jog in the evening? No. She rarely, or oh, she never run, run or jokes, run or jokes is the same thing in the evening. She sometimes jokes in the afternoon, right? So does your neighbor's dog always bark during the day? No, it never barks during the day. It always barks at night, like my neighbor's dog. All right, there's still questions about this? or just a little bit of practice would be good. This is just to practice. Remember that yesterday we saw the adverse of frequency, right? You say, I always go to school by bus. I never have coffee in the morning. So that's the idea of using the adverse of frequency. All right? So you already practice this. And now, give me one second. Before we do this reading, I have a challenge for you. Let's see, another challenge. <laughs> and you would say, teacher, why? It's because, let's see, one second, please. One second, let me just, I have some questions for you. Let's go ahead and share right here. Okay, there are some questions and you're going to answer, let's see. We're going to get started with Mr. Aguirre because he is the luckiest one. <laughs> Sometimes it's a free pass. Don't feel so worried. What do you do in the afternoon? What do you uh, usually do in the afternoons? Usually. Like, mm -hmm. Depend, depend, depend the day. Mm -hmm. But 
but for example on on monday mm -hmm. i usually is i carry on the different documents to my i forgot how do you say providers 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 suppliers suppliers mm -hmm. as well i return around 4 p.m to my house mm -hmm. after that i call i call the Client. employees oh the employees yeah so the employees that what what are I forgot the idea, teacher. So I what they need? Them, I, I call them. I call them. ¿Qué están haciendo en ese momento? I okay, what they're doing. What are they doing? Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm, that's it. All right, perfect. Let's see. Next is Mr. Lopez. Ah, that's an easy question, Mr. Lope. What do you do in the evening? What do you usually do in the evening? You told me that you work for B3. So what do you usually do in the evening? Uh, I'll try. No problem. It's okay. Just try. It's okay. No problem. What do you usually do in the evening? Es como este, tarde noche. Ajá. Eh, eh, ¿Cómo se dice atender? En atén, en, atén. Eh, atén, atén. Eh, clientes. Clients or customers. Eh, listen a, ne a ne necesidad. No sé qué. Necessities. A necessity. A lo que busca what the clients need or what the customers need okay mm -hmm. and that's then... it that's okay no problem you, when i ask you what do you usually do in the evening you say ah oh, i usually attend customers i usually help or support with what the clients need that's great no problem okay there okay. we go with miss karen portillo Oh, what do you do in the afternoon? What do you usually do in the afternoon? That is a very similar question. I remember. <laughs> <laughs> it's the same situation every day, but I stay in my work in this time. In the afternoon, what what time do you usually finish work? It depends the season. Really? Uh, yeah. Okay. Sometimes you finish at four at five five p.m mm -hmm. sometimes later or earlier sorry in other times when do you finish uh, late late when you say late yeah. how late at six at seven uh... Sometimes eight, sometimes ten. Oh my God, that's pretty late. Yes. So you work in a office. In an office. That's great. Yeah. Next one would be Mr. Roda. Oh no, Miss Carla Flores. Sorry. Because of the order. Oh, Mr. Miss Flores, sorry. Do you have classes in the afternoon? ¿Qué realizo después de la clase o cómo? No, do you have classes in the afternoon? Que si tiene clase en la afternoon. Ah, okay. Yes, I um I have class in the marketing digital and the uh, HPM. Next um my class the of english mm -hmm. um, so you have 9 a, p.m oh my god so you have a class at eight yes uh, marketing, digital, digital marketing. marketing 
Yes. Okay. But in the afternoon, like from one to five, from one to six? In the afternoon, 1 p.m., 2 p.m., 3 p.m.? No, no, no. Um, no. Um, H, H, H p.m. Okay, so you have next, next uh, night. At nine, you have English. At night, yes. And then you So you have classes practically in the evening. That's right. Good. Okay. Now, Mr. Rodas, yes. Mr. Rodas, what is something that you don't do at night? <laughs> uh, <clears throat> okay. Um, um, I don't uh, out to dancing at night. I don't go out dancing at night. I don't go to play soccer. Mm -hmm. I don't go at a uh, run yeah, I, tonight. Okay, I don't go running at night. All right, good. Nice. Uh, only. That's okay, yes, no problem. Mr. Aguirre already answered, so we go with Mr. Romero. <clears throat> Oh, free pass. <laughs> no, that's not possible, mister. We'll do it again. Why not, teacher? <laughs> because he has to practice. <laughs> Yo tengo que hacer la pregunta, me dijo, ¿verdad? Ajá. <laughs> ¿A quién me dijo? Mr. Romero. Okay, Mr. Romero, what do you do on the weekend? It's so easy questions. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I I usually work and on Saturday and Monday. Really? And, yeah. Do and you have a day off? Excuse me. Do you have a day off? Yes. When? Friday. When Fridays? Oh my God. Tomorrow. Yeah. Tomorrow is your day off. That's good. Yeah. <laughs> ah, you're excited. That's yeah. Excited. And I usually play play video games and read and read books. Nice. Like me. That's awesome. <laughs> okay, Mr. Romero, you're gonna ask a question to Mr. Cáceres, okay? Yes, I like that okay. idea. Mr. Cáceres, do you stay up late? Why and uh, why not? Que si se desvela, why or why not? <laughs> Mr. Cáceres. Hello. Hi. Um, <laughs> exactly your question. Uh, volví. <laughs> <laughs> and I usually go to sleep at 10 p.m., 9 p.m. Uh, 11 p.m. So you never stay up late? No. Oh, nice. So you finish at that time. Great. So I'm going to stop sharing just for a, for a moment. Give me one second. I just need to check something. <laughs> oh, my God. Some people are just crazy comments, Mr. Aguirre. <laughs> Don't say a man. <laughs> That's not cheating. Okay. Let's see once again. Hold on. Gambler? No. Now, random question. <laughs> Randomly. Let's see. Okay. Volunteers. I'm going to spin it up and you voluntarily answer the question. Okay. I don't have to say names. Oh, what do you do in the morning? Anybody? Volunteers? What do you do in the morning? Okay, I uh, in the morning all today, I get up uh, at uh, six o'clock. Um, 
I wash um, <clears throat> I wash my face and go to cook my uh, my lunch and I go to my office. Nice. I usually get up, wash my face, cook lunch, and go to work, go to the office. That's usually, right? Because that is from Monday to Friday, from Monday to Saturday, or do you have a day off, or do you work on the weekends? Um, I don't have weekends. Um, on the weekends, uh, usually I'm going to run at the stadium at the stadium wow that's awesome let's see Thank what time do you wake up volunteers mm -hmm. nobody <laughs> what time do you wake up? Yes. I wake up at in Spanish, at, please. <laughs> I wake up at no. What time do you wake up? When you're sleeping, and then you go like ah, oh, you wake up when the alarm rings. You say, oh, my teacher. Yes. In my case, I woke up too late because I. I didn't, I didn't do nothing to do. <laughs> I don't have anything to do. Yeah, so, so but when you go to work, you wake up early. As usual. Uh-huh. So then you say, I usually get up early. I usually wake up early at five, at four, at six. But when I don't work, well, in my case, I usually wake up at five, but I get up at 5.30, like five, you know, by something. But when I don't have to go to work, I usually wake up at seven and then I go back to sleep sometimes one more hour. That is not very often. That is rarely. <laughs> okay. All right. Somebody else? On the other hand, you need to three hours to make up. I don't do that. <laughs> I use my break at work to do that. <laughs> All right. Mr. Romero, do you stay up late? Why or why not? No, don't worry. That is a repeated question. We're going to do another one. Oh, you're so lucky. Free pass. Jesus. Uh-huh. Yes, Mr. Romero, what time do you go to sleep? I I usually go to sleep at um twelve. At twelve, at midnight. Okay, yes. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Me too. I usually go to sleep around midnight. Oh my god. Let's see who's next after Mr. Romero is Mr. Cáceres. Ay, Mr. Cáceres, no. <laughs> That's impossible. Again, the same question, you see? Oh my goodness, it's the same one. Mm, what time do you wake up? Wait for me. Yes. <laughs> I wake up, I usually wake up at 5.30 p.m. 5.30? A.M. Mm -hmm. A.M. Sorry. Yeah. And no or six A.M. Okay, five thirty or six. Mm -hmm. 
this is just the same questions, you see. Miss Karen Portillo. The next question is for you. Do you have classes in the afternoon? No, I don't have classes. In the no, afternoon. you're working in the afternoon, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mr. Lopez. The same question. What time do you wake up? Uh, uh, I usually wake up. At five, at four, at six. Uh, uh, I'm five. At five. So you say, I usually wake up at five. At five. Mm -hmm. Okay. Perfect. Well, this was just to ask some questions, but let me just share the screen because I'm quite sure you have this article, Eating for Good Luck. So New Year, you know, December 31st is the New Year's Eve. Many people eat a special food for good luck in the New Year. Todos queremos tener buena suerte, right? Good luck in the New Year. So January 1st, we go like, this is my year. I'm going to do this. I'm going to have these goals, these objectives. I'm going to have this resolution. And this is going to be my year. I'm going to get rich. But then as the time passes, <laughs> everybody start getting <laughs> down and not getting the goals, not getting the objective. But in the New Year's Eve, everybody's excited. So in China, some Chinese people eat tangerines tangerines are round and round foods and and begin again like years what do chinese people eat for good luck mm -hmm. tangerines tangerines do you like tangerines yes i like the tangerines Me too. I love it. I love people say the smell when you peel a tangerine, the the peel can be used for teas, for kind of aroma in the house. So I love tangerines. That is in China. Jewish. It is a Jewish custom to eat apples with honey for a sweet new year. So if you want to love everybody the next year, you have to eat apples and sweet, sweet, uh, and honey, honey, honey. <laughs> yes, honey. apples with honey. Remember, for Greeks, Greeks son of griegos, right? Greeks eat basilopita. Basilopita is bread with a coin inside. Everyone tries to find a coin for luck and money in the new year. This is similar, es como un pan trenzado. This is similar to la rosca de reyes. The difference that la rosca de reyes has a little baby, right? So a little baby doll. And this has a coin. Of course, this is tradition. So in Greek, they eat bread with a coin inside. If you find the coin, then you're going to have money the next year. All right. In El Salvador, do you do any of these traditions? The same tradition like in Europe. In for, Europe, right? See, for mm -hmm. example, I heard that in the Spain, they eat 12 grapes. Oh, that's it. Yes, 12 grapes. 12, 12 grapes. Uh -huh. They say in Spain and some Latin American countries, people eat 12 grapes at midnight on New Year's Eve. One grape for good luck in each month of the year. Do you do it? Do you eat the 12 grapes at midnight? With wine? <laughs> no. You don't do it. With water? <laughs> With soda? I try. I try to do it, but I cannot eat the 12 grapes at midnight. I eat like one by one. <laughs> yes. 
Okay, in Japan, on New Year's Day, in Japan, people eat mochi. Mochi is rice cakes for a strength in the new year. Lo que ellos buscan es tener fortaleza, fuerza, salud. They don't look for money. You see, Japanese people are more humble. <laughs> Japanese people look for strength and wisdom. <laughs> okay, so they eat mochi. Mochi represents the strength. Okay, it's a rice cake. Es un, es como un pastelito de arroz. All right. In Africa, oh no, Americans. So from the southern, from the, los estados del sur. Some Americans from the southern states eat black eyed peas. No es que se comen a la banda, ¿verdad? The black eyed peas. Right? So, black eyed peas and rice with colored greens. The black eyed peas are like coins and the greens are like dollars. So this represents money too. So in the south, right? In South Carolina, uh, Georgia, all those states. Peas is similar to beans? Yes, it's similar to beans. And they and they prepare white rice and then they put the black eye piece and the green colors as well. Okay, so different species of beans actually, or what they call it in the Spanish. Ay, garbanzos, these other species of beans, chicharos, all those kind of beans. We in El Salvador we usually eat red beans and that's it. But there yeah. are tons, millions of species of beans. There are many kinds of beans, right? So Chinese people eat tangerines, and tangerines are round like ears. This is already correct. The second one, some Jewish people eat apples with candy? No, people, Jewish people eat apples with? Honey. With honey, honey. for a sweet new year. Greeks eat basilopita. And basilopita is bread with beans inside? No. It's... Coins. A coin inside. In Europe, people eat 12 grapes for good luck in the new year. Only in Europe? No, in, in Latin America too. Yes, in Europe and some Latin American countries. The Japanese eat chocolate cake. No, the no. Cake, rice cake. Rice cake for a strength in the new year. Some Americans eat black eyed peas. Black eyed peas are like dollars. Black eyed peas are like coins, right? Like coins. And the greens are like dollars. All right. Is it time? Yes. Teacher. Yes. <laughs> I actually, I sometimes. I ate 12 grapes. Really? After, after the, the bad look to come. <laughs> no, I can't believe uh, that. I'm sure, really. <laughs> yeah. What I did one year, I remember is that I, I, I took out the backpack and I went around the block. <laughs> but next year I travel. <laughs> so that was good luck. Okay. Yes. And the red clothes and the yellow clothes that we're not going to talk. We only talk about food. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> my personal opinion, I don't believe that. Yeah, I know. It's just part of the show, my brother says. <laughs> okay. It's just for fun. Okay. Good night. Enjoy. God bless you. See you next Monday. Bye. See you. Bye. Take care. Have a good night. Good okay. night, teacher. Bless you. Bless you. Finish the platform. I finish. Yes. I, finish. I, I don't I don't love the diploma. The diploma, not yet. Yeah. But you already I, have it. Yeah. Oh my. That was fast. <laughs> A little bit. You can brag your diploma already. Nice. Congrats. Good and job.